MP Diane Abbott has told Good Morning Britain she's frightened by remarks made by a Tory donor. Yes, the do donor is Frank Hester, and he reportedly said Miss Abbott made him want to hate black women and should be shot. He says his comments were nothing to do with her gender or her skin colour. Joining us now is the Labour MP, Dawn Butler. Dawn Butler, yeah. thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Um, I found it, as Ramvid did this morning, very difficult even to read those comments out, let alone hear them. Um, you are a female black MP. You're in the same position as Diane Abbott. How did it make you feel? Susanna, it is quite frightening. And the fact is that it's very deep-seated, that type of racism, the fact that he talks about hating all black women yeah. and then really sadistically talks about how much Diane eats as though she should be starved to death and that she should be shot. It's very deep seated. It's very worrying and it's very scary. And I know that Diane was extremely scared and nervous yesterday and he did this. And I think there's a couple of things. I think you know, he holds 60 million records for all of us from the contracts that he's got from government. He should be nowhere near our records. He should be nowhere near AI. He is dangerous to have those views and have access to our records. And the other thing that I find quite sinister is how this government has taken public money, given it to organisations, and then it does this full circle and ends back in the Tory party through donations. That needs to stop and Rishi needs to give that money back. Dawn, we're going to be speaking uh, shortly to the Energy Minister, Graham Stewart. He was asked about this earlier this morning, mm -hmm. and he said um, that um, uh, I find it completely unacceptable. He says, but when asked if it's racist, he says, I hesitate to stick that particular label on it. Um, he says, I don't want to sit in judgment on these things. He says, I don't think this is a man who is racist. Um, what would you say to Graham Stewart? There's absolutely rubbish, it's too early in the morning for me to swear on Good Morning Britain. If he can't identify that as racist, what would it take for you to identify something as racism? If you can't identify something that is as clear as that, where you categorise a whole group of people, hate all black women, that in itself is the very definition of prejudice and racism. So if you can't identify that, don't, don't talk about it. And also, you know, the whole couple of weeks we've talked about MP safety and how there's going to be extra money for MP safety. If you're not going to stamp it out by with your friends mm -hmm. within your own party, then you're not going to stamp it out in the country. And you know, you cannot continue to gaslight people this way. It is absolutely ridiculous that you cannot label that as racism when it clearly is. He said rude. It's not rude. It is racist. Mm -hmm. Accept it own it, either do something about it, but he definitely should not have access to government contracts. He's been given nearly half a billion pounds. He should not have access to any government contracts, especially our data, and all those contracts need to be rescinded immediately. Uh, Dawn, when um, comments like this are reported, these comments that he's alleged to have made, what is the wider impact of that sort of uh, speech? You see from social media, I mean, there was somebody who threatened to shoot me and um, he got uh, sentenced. And it is extremely scary. We know that two MPs have been tragically murdered. Mm -hmm. And what this is doing is inciting racial hatred, which is against the law. And you know what? We're tired of it because it really does affect what we do every single day. It affects how we go about our daily business. And it's just not fair and it's not right. And Diana's had enough abuse and it just needs to stop. And unless people at the very top of our country, the prime minister, calls this out properly, you know, principles mean nothing if, if you're not actually going to act on something. So this is his opportunity now to call it out and to say he does not condone racism and he will not take 10 million pounds from a racist. Money should not excuse racism. And that is what we're seeing at the moment. And in Diane Abbott's statement directly to us here on Good Morning Britain, she said, I'm currently not a member of the Parliamentary Labour Party, but remain a member of the Labour Party itself. So I'm hoping for public support from 
to Keir Starmer. Now, you've come out and given her support. What, what would you say that Sir Keir Starmer needs to do? Keir needs to come out and call this out and give Diane his full support. And Diane needs to have the whip returned. And um, so I'm hoping that I'm on the parliamentary committee. That means I've been elected by MPs. Ed will know all about this. Uh, I've been elected by MPs to essentially be their shop steward. Mm. And that's something that needs to be resolved in the party. The thing is this as well, is that when you allow this kind of hatred and discrimination to happen, when you don't call it out against somebody, you're almost opening the doors to others to say, it's okay to, to abuse her. It's, it's okay. And this is how domestic abuse and domestic violence, this is why we don't stamp it out because, oh, it's okay. He only hit her once. No, that is wrong. And so this is wrong. And everybody, no matter your political colour, needs to call this out that it is wrong, it's discriminatory, it's racist and it's prejudiced. Dawn Butler, thank you uh, for joining us this morning. Um, in response, Frank Hester says he accepts he was rude about Diane Abbott in a private meeting several years ago. But his criticism had nothing to do with her gender or colour of her skin. The Guardian is right. That's the newspaper when it quotes Frank saying he abhors racism. This is part of the statement, not least because he experienced it as the child of Irish immigrants in the 1970s. Now, he rang Diane Abbott twice today, that's yesterday, to try to apologise directly for the hurt he has caused her and is deeply sorry for his remarks. He wishes to make it clear he regards racism as a poison which has no place in public life. And we will be putting... All of that to the minister when we speak to him in just a couple of minutes.